Hi folks, welcome to another Craig's Hack for Tableau. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own PCP, and that's prior comparison period. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you why you'd want to do that, and then I'm going to show you how and leave you with a workbook up on Tableau Public that you can have a look at. So first of all, what is PCP and why would you want to do it? So let's have a look at our good old Superstore, and this is a Craig's Hack for from um, previous where it was showing you sales year on year. So that's the current period, prior comparison period, and here we have a year on year piece. Now the real world is not as simple as, as Superstore is. Quite a lot of my customers are wanting to compare quarter on quarter, year to date versus year to date. And even just recently I had a customer who wanted uh, thir last 30 days or the 30 days prior to that or the same 30 days last year. So all of those different permutations, uh, I've ended up building quite a, a good um, model to, to borrow from and port that around from project to project. So here is the um, PCP uh, workbook that I'm gonna steal all my date attributes from and put it back into that Superstore uh, as an example of how to, how to convert that to a parameterized PCP selection. So here's how it works. So what we do is we have a, um, first of all, what day is it? We, let's pretend it's the 16th of November. And what do we want to do? We want to have a data set we want to compare this month uh, to last month. Now, because it's only the 16th, we want to make sure that we're only comparing month to date versus last month. And if we wanted to compare that same thing but last year, we can see that we have a prior comparison period of the first 15 days of November 2015. So we can see that we have a whole bunch of different time frames to pick right from a day uh, through weekly. Uh, there's our last 30 days and the 30 days prior to that. And we have our standard months and quarters, years to date and so on. So let me show you how I, I got all of these pieces together and it's it's really a series of calculations using date diffs and date trunks and uh, comparing reporting dates a year ago and so on so on so there's a simple uh, example of is last month and if we say is uh, last quarter one year ago You can see there's our date diff, our date trunk. We're using reporting dates from the same day last year. It's a bit of a nested calculations and they all roll up into a parameterization um, where we can see that we have a big fat case statement here that says um, you know, when the prior comparison is, is one, which is this month, then use that calculation, so on and so on and so on. And sub queries there are for the recent part and for the, for the last year part which which mirror to that um, recent and last year depending upon which selections of all of these different um, dimensions that we get <coughs> all right so let's move on to how we would uh, borrow all of these existing calculations and retrofit an existing workbook so let's uh, go and have a look at our superstore workbook again and what we're going to do is we're going to go and um, bring in um, some dates in here. But notice the order date is the, is the primary date uh, dimension in here. So what I'm going to first do is go into here and I'm just going to rename that order date so that it ports over nicely. So what I'm going to do now is just grab all of these date calculations and I'll copy those. them into this workbook here and we might even pop them in a folder and I'll call them dates. Alright let's see how this one works. Um, so first of all we'll grab out those two parameters we'll uh, show the parameter for select time frame and the reporting date override and the comparison period. Alright, 
So now what we might do is just grab that order date and we'll just see how this piece works with, with the filtering and so on. So where's our order date? There it is there. Let's grab say the, uh, the minimum and the maximum. Make those discrete. And we can see this data set we have dates all the way from January 2013 up to December 2016. Well, let's compare, let's pretend that we're part way through a year. So we're going to do the report date override. So um, there's a one in here about the later. There it is. So we need data that's later than the reporting date we really don't want. So let's just keep those. So let's say that we've got data out to the 15th of November. So the way this piece works now is that we can have a is selected time period or PCP. So that's an ABC. I'll show you what that is all about. It's got, uh, it's basically use, it's testing every date and saying, are you in the selected time frame? If so, I'll give you that little label. And if you're the prior comparison period, then I'll give you that label. And if you're in any other date, then you're not applicable. So when we bring that in um, as a row, we now have our prior, uh, so our, you know, the, our selected time frame is year to date. So you can see our selected period is this entire year, and our prior comparison period is the year before. Whereas if we pick, uh, let's say, the uh, this quarter, you can see that we're October through November, and the prior comparison period is not the entire last quarter, but the quarter up to the 15th, uh, so that we're getting apples for apples. <coughs> All right, so now that we've got those dates and those parameters, let's go and have a look at this uh, particular um, sales performance dashboard. And just to give you a, a recap, so if, uh, on an earlier Craig's hack, we showed you how to put together a year-on-year -year comparison on and showing little shapes up or down or the same. <coughs> so that's um, pretty good if you get an entire year versus entire year, but what if this customer uh, only had uh, data up to November 15th? And let's make sure we can get a year to date piece in there. So let's go into the sheet. Okay, so first of all, we'll do that same um, later filter just to bring in the data up to today and we're going to um, so instead of using the year as a dimension we're going to use that selected uh, is selected time period or, or PCP now that'll give us quite a bit of error so we get rid of that get rid of the filtering on years and we were um, we we're having all these comparisons that were relative to the, the order date, which no longer is in our view. So we're going to change that to be compute using our selected time period. So now we have the not applicable stuff, the prior period, and the selected period. So what we want to do is only keep these two, and we're actually going to hide this one. So now what we've got. <coughs> is the data for our selected period and let's get those parameters in the view get that one the um, that one and the prior comparison period okay so uh, what we might do is uh, this last period calculation we probably want to have um, a different on that one and we've actually got a, sp a special label in here as well I'll show you what that it's got in it so that one is similar to the case statement we saw before but instead of selecting particular dimensions to, to grab onto depending upon your parameters it actually shows you labels and you'll see why if I do that in just a minute so let's grab that one put it into our detail and we're going to rep replace this um, change the parameter to year on year I've done that one okay so 
Well, let's see how this one works now. The, the last thing we need to do is just go into our tool tips. At the moment we've got a um, time period. So let's just say that that one is the selected time frame of sales and we're comparing that to the prior period of sales so we're going to use that little label that we put on there and we should be good to go so let's have a look at this so um, let's hide these non applicables um, just to make it a little easier to understand so in Japan has 3k of sales this quarter and zero last quarter so a real good example there we go. So um, now we can see that uh, the, the Manila in the Philippines has is uh, one percent up on profit uh, in sales. Sorry, um, with a seven percent profit ratio, negative seven. So that's why it's it's orange. But we can see that we're getting there. So if we wanted to say, let's instead of having a look at this quarter, we want to go year to date. Now we can see that year to date sales is 42 and the prior year was 27. Um, so the percentage difference is 59% up on last year. And we can um, say if we wanted to pick uh, last 30 days and we wanted to have a look at the same 30 days last year, we can get an idea on, on how those individual uh, city sales are going. So you can see how useful that is once we put that those controls into our dashboard. Uh, from with, there we go. So we're going to go prior comparison period, the time frame, and we'll hide these headers, and we'll turn the title on. Uh, I'm just going to put the title in here. I'm just going to say the selected time frame versus the label, we'll center that, and you see that's the last 30 days versus the prior year, same 30 day period, and then we can get rid of these uh, years out of here, and there you go, we have now a um, sales performance comparison dashboard where we can compare any one of those periods, and we can compare it to a recent period that's apples for apples, or or last year's period. So enjoy, uh, enjoy your PCP, but not too, not too much. I'll upload this uh, dashboard up into my Tableau Public, and give you a link through on the um, the YouTube um, blurb. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time.